Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the crazy stuff that has been happening with PlayStation. Both the highs and the lows. So, let's get into it. First, let's get into the low that was Concord. A game that was supposed to last for years, a live service game, shuts down only two weeks after being online. That's rough. In my opinion, it's never a good thing when projects like this get canned. Like, think of the amount of time and effort that the devs put into this game, all for it to get cancelled so quickly. Concord is, excuse me, was a colossal flop. But I feel like this could have all been avoided. We have seen these types of games fail before, like Battleborn. Remember Battleborn? I'm not saying that a new hero shooter cannot be made, but this genre is really difficult to succeed in. You really have to stand out in either gameplay or with recognizable slash unique looking characters. Look at Marvel Rivals for instance. This upcoming hero shooter has so much style and it also has recognizable and striking characters. Unfortunately, Concord did not grab the majority of people and therefore it did not sell well. Sony invested so much time and resources into Concord, which is like, holy crap, can we please allocate some of that to other PlayStation franchises? You know, like the one celebrated in the recent Astrobot game? <laughs> Astrobot came out just last week, and people and critics are still raving about it, myself included. It's a true celebration of PlayStation's legacy while also being a fantastic platformer in its own right. It's crazy that PlayStation even made a game like this in the first place. Sony has been going towards more realistic graphical showcases like Spider-Man, God of War, and Last of Us. We get the occasional Ratchet and Clank, but that's Insomniac and they basically do whatever they want. Astrobot really gives me hope for the future of PlayStation. It's clear that gamers want more games like this. It's almost like PlayStation is having an identity crisis. One of the best selling PlayStation exclusive games released soon after one of the worst. Sony and their fans are not on the same page. You want to know what fans want? More of this. More fun looking games that bring quality and have more of an identity. That's not to say that Concord didn't have an identity. But let's be honest, the hero shooter genre is just hard to break through. And I feel like allocating so many resources into that one game, thinking that just because it's a live service game, that's gonna make a bank ton of money. And unfortunately with the weak marketing and just how the game was displayed, it just didn't really grab people's attention. Soon after Astrobot's successful launch, we got the unveiling of the new PlayStation 5 Pro. And boy did PlayStation drop the ball. $700 with no disk drive? Oh, I'm sorry, the disk drive is available for the low price of $80. Yes, yeah, something tells me Sony is out of touch with what fans want. Within the span of a month, PlayStation released an expensive to make game that closed two seconds after its release. To make a worthy competitor to freaking Mario, to revealing a console that will only appeal to a very small portion of players. And if you want the new PS5 Pro, don't let me sway you. I just don't think it's worth it for that money and for what you're getting. The PS5 Pro is marketed to have three main features that make it better than the original PS5. It has an upgraded GPU, advanced ray tracing, and it has an AI driven upscaler. These elements are nice, don't get me wrong, and the fact that you don't have to choose between fidelity and performance mode is really cool, but I'm sorry, this is not worth $700 to me. I really don't care about super duper realistic graphics. Astrobot is a gorgeous game that runs smooth as butter. I just want fun games that look good. And I feel like I'm not the only one that thinks this way. There are of course going to be people out there that want the high end graphics and frame rate, but that's not enough for me to pay that much for. I would rather play these games on performance mode on my regular PlayStation 5, and I'm completely okay with that. 
But that's enough for me. Let me hear from you in the comments below. Let me know what you think about PlayStation's recent roller coaster. Is there a bright future for PlayStation? Or are these signs telling us a different story? Thank you all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. God bless.